The American arm of auto parts giant Takata may be declaring bankruptcy in the coming days, after weathering nearly a decade of recalls because of its exploding airbags. But a bankruptcy filing doesn't mean Takata is going away. It's actually a strategic move to attract an outside buyer, which could keep the company afloat, after the faulty airbags it made prompted the recall of more than 40 million cars since 2008. Takata's airbags are made with ammonium nitrate, the same compound used in the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. Using ammonium nitrate makes the airbags cheaper to produce, but the chemical deteriorates over time, and that can cause the airbags to explode and send shrapnel into the car. So why are car makers still using Takata at all? Because they don't really have a choice. Only three companies make airbags in large volumes, Autoleave, TRW, and Takata. If car makers quit Takata cold turkey, there wouldn't be enough materials to fill new vehicle orders until 2019. And once they do commit to a supplier, car companies are contractually bound to use that product for four to five years. In Takata's case, even though the airbags are dangerous, they're technically compliant with American safety regulations, which means that liability falls not on the company that made the airbag, but the company that made the car. They can either shut down production of vehicles that use the airbags, or they can keep using them, hope for the best, and recall the cars later on for repair. But there's a catch. Because of those same contracts, the recalled cars are getting refitted with the same Takata airbags that triggered the recall in the first place. 